One of the most absurd things right now in video games is Dr. Disrespect. This is not something I thought I'd be talking about. Uh, he was banned off Twitch a few years ago now. Um, and now some details are coming out and the details are so sketchy that you have to sit there and take a step back and go, wait a second, th is this true? And if it's true, then why isn't Twitch in actual legal trouble? So this is a very strange tale. Cody Connors is an ex-Twitch employee. He got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whisper product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon, the powers that could read in plain text, case close gang. And then he follows it up with, no one made the wrong decision, F him and his boys. I mean, this is something that's gone completely off the rail. Of course, this is a bombshell. 27 million views on Twitter. So this has made it around the world and back again. And you know, I can't help but to cover it at this point. <sighs> this makes things, makes me question a timeline here at this point. I put in the Google, the date that he was banned from Twitch. The, it was relatively fresh because it was the day after my birthday, uh, June 26, 2020. But this was also in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, and he's and Connors here is saying that he was trying to sex a minor and meet up with them at TwitchCon. Doesn't really make much sense considering TwitchCon was canceled for this year. Yeah, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, TwitchCon North America, which was scheduled to occur in San Diego Convention Center between September 25th and 27, 2020, as well as TwitchCon Europe, which was scheduled to occur in RAI Amsterdam Convention in Amsterdam between May 2nd and 3rd, 2020, were canceled. And we can link on this and get the date of that, which is June 18, 2020. I mean, is that really, really June 18, TwitchCon gets canceled, and then shortly after that, they come out and ban Dr. Disrespect? I mean, it's possible, but I don't see that as a likely scenario. Now, Dr. Disrespect has come out and talked and uh, addressed Jake Lucky here putting it out there um talking about how this could legally be something that twitch would be on the hook for and he's like jake seriously i get it it's a hot topic but it's been settled no wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole contract and a lot of people are saying oh he's not denying it he's not denying it well legally he would be behind probably an nda or a settlement if you've ever been through a settlement they make you sign forms to say that you're not going to discuss reasons behind it and thus if you do discuss reasons behind it they will revoke it and can counter sue you for all the money that was paid out in the contract this is why you don't speak about things like that and that's why it's very vague and he does he's made his own statement on his uh his twitter listen it's obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with twitch but i need to say what i can since this is the effing internet i didn't do anything wrong all this has been probed and settled nothing illegal no wrongdoing was found and i was paid Elden Ring Monday. So now more of the details came out uh, and the theory behind why he was actually banned and he was going to sue Twitch, but they ended up settling. So the lawsuit doesn't go through. Dr. Disparate Inspect is now streaming on YouTube claims. He doesn't know why Twitch banned him. But if you, if you do a little bit of a search online, you do find some posts about why people believe he was banned. All right, guys, it's been a while, but after seeing this video, and doing some research myself, I am 99% sure that the reason that Dr. Disrespect, who was the biggest streamer on Twitch at the time, was banned, and it's pretty dirty reason, and why I now understand why Twitch tried everything to keep people from truly telling the reason, because it's gotten uh, effed. This is my statement. Mixer 
which was launched as Beam in 2016, was a streaming platform that operated by Microsoft in an attempt to increase popularity and gain an edge over Twitch. Mixer signed contracts with Ninja and Shroud in August and October of 2019, respectively. Both the biggest streamers at the time to exclusively stream on their platform, while Ninja's contract was worth 30 million, Shroud's was worth 10. In the battle of signing exclusive deals to the biggest streamers, Dr. Disrespect was most likely offered a deal by Mixer as well, upon which he went to Twitch and asked them whether or not they could match the deal, stating that he would accept Mixer's deal and move there otherwise. And this was the, the going theory of everything out there. So four days after the announcer, Mixer shutting down July 26th, Dr. Disrespect was banned due to violations of guidelines so it seems that there was too much talk out there and because suddenly they shut down and he doesn't have a place to go because he brought it up they said you know what we're cutting our we're cutting it deal we're cutting it and and moving on with our lives Looking into the history of Twitch bans, it's extremely clear that bans, especially permanent bans, have been initiated only due to extreme violations of guidelines that are obvious to the public. In my opinion, since Dr. Disrespect never violated the guidelines extensively, except for a very minor thing that happened to every streamer, such as watching a copyrighted video, that was them obviously using the argument for banning him. It was extremely obvious that Dr. Disrespect has been banned simply due to the fact that Twitch did not want to pay him an eight-figure contract after seeing that Mixer, their main competitor, was no longer one with streamers like Ninja and Shroud, for example, moving back to Twitch for free. Another argument for this is the fact that Dr. Disrespect, who is aware of the reason for his ban, as he has stated himself, has decided to sue Twitch, which nobody would, who would have done anything truly bad, would have voluntarily done that would result in eventually publishing the cause of the ban. And if he's going to go, if he's willing to go the route to sue Twitch, discovery would have happened. And this statement here of that sorts from Cody Connors, all of this would have been in the limelight. It all would have been out there. And in the flip side of that, if Twitch was subject to something like this and Twitch didn't go to the authorities in the first place for something like this, then Twitch is complicit in, uh, in sexting this minor in the same sort of scenario. I think that uh, Cody here might be a little hurt for some God known reason because he was a former CPM on Twitch. I have no clue. I don't know where this really goes. If there's anything that comes out of this, uh, it's going to be probably pretty soon, but I don't think anything is going to come out with this. And Dr. Disrespect here saying, I've got paid, there's nothing that I did, pretty much is all that he can say of the matter. Uh, especially with those that money on the table. He can't sit there and legally say yes or no, just I didn't do anything wrong, there was no wrongdoing, and you, you need to take it at face value at this point and say he did nothing wrong. Well, without some actual concrete evidence of this, I find this very lacking. Yes, it's a Twitch employee that's putting this out there, or a former Twitch employee, I don't know why. Uh, is there an NDA in this? Uh, uh, NDA wouldn't matter at this point because something like this would have to go to the authorities and the authorities would be investigating something like this. So, so just to point out here, this is something that came after I did the initial video and I'm adding it on to the end here. Uh, it's been pointed out that Cody Connors, the former Twitch employee who said Dr. Disrespect was caught sexting a minor has presently been using the information in an attempt to sell tickets to his show. So he, he does this whole thing and now we've got more information. Listen, all three dates will sell out. I'll tell you why he's got banned. Uh, gamer friends, if, you, if you're on the East Coast, you should come to one of my shows. Slasher is coming to New York Day. That's a 500 person uh, and we're like 70% pre-sale. I always act out around Rod. If the show sells out, I'll 100% explain why we banned him during the set. So he's trying to sell tickets to his show using this information. That's even more dirtier 
than what it is and really questions the legitimacy of the claims Cody Connors is making here. On top of all of that, he also changed his Twitter profile to say he's going to be, get sued any second now. Honestly, I don't think there's much truth to that because the authorities would have to be involved unless this is one of Twitch's dirty little secrets that they are trying to hide. I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>